Hello, and welcome to the second video uh, in um, the series about this composition analysis exercise that we're going to do. Uh, in, the first, in the first video, we drew a grid on the image that we're going to analyze, our master painting. And now what we need to do is we need to prepare two more grids. I hope you can see this white page on this white wall. This is uh, the page um, uh, from the drawing pad that you have, an 18 by 24 inch drawing sheet. Uh, and we're gonna do two corresponding grids. So two grids that are blank that uh, are based on this grid. Uh, and we're gonna need that to do the first two stages of the analysis. So uh, what we need to do is we need, we need to measure this original one. And remember we had uh, a set of uh, uh, grid blocks that went across and then we had a partial grid block along the far right hand side same on the going down we had a partial grid block uh, along the bottom so that's something we have to pay attention to so what we want to do is we want to measure this overall so the overall measurement of my image not the page is um, nine and three quarters inches by seven and a half. So I'm just gonna write that up there just to remind us. Hopefully that's clear and visible to you. Okay, so there's, there's room enough on an 18 by 24 inch page for two of these grids. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, I'm gonna make sure that I have it nice and centered. I'm gonna measure down from, I'm gonna look at the, the little, um, uh, holes, perforations at the top edge, and I'm going to measure down two inches from one of them over here on the towards the left, and measure down two inches over here. That's going to give me a nice straight line as the top edge of my grid. Okay, and I'm using a a dark kind of uh, kind of charcoal pencil. You can use any kind of pencil you want uh, to do this, uh, this grid um, exercise. Okay, then to make sure I have a nice straight uh, line to be the left-hand edge of my grid, I'm gonna measure in two inches from the left-hand edge of my paper. So I'm gonna have a nice straight line down there, okay? So I have a nice setup. So I need to go across the top. It's nine and three quarters inches. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna uh, measure over here. I'm gonna make little tick marks like we did before. And I'm gonna say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then three quarters because that last one is a little small. And then we're gonna come down the uh, side here. And I'm gonna count, I need seven and a half. So I'm gonna say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven and a half. All right, then over here somewhere, it doesn't matter too much where exactly, I'm just gonna do that again. I'm gonna come down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven and a half. And then I'm gonna come across uh, the bottom edge. In fact, what I'll do is I'll go to the very bottom and I will draw this line to be the bottom edge of my grid. And then I'm going to make tick marks be one, two, eight, nine, and 10, again, three quarters. And then connect them.
across. Just as we did for the navigation labels, I'm going to put the same navigation labels here. And across the top. And we see we have the same number. We have the same number of letters, we have the same number down, we have the small one on the bottom and the three-quarter inch one along the right-hand edge. Now I'm going to do the second one exactly like I did the first one and um, hopefully I can do that more quickly. Okay. Okay, so now we have two matching grids corresponding exactly. All three of these grids uh, have the same number of blocks, same proportions. We can use them for our analysis. Um, this top one, I'm gonna, I'm, we're gonna call this your 50%. And so the first analysis we're gonna do is gonna be a 50% analysis. And then the second one, I'm gonna write 20% down here because this is going to be our 20% analysis. Details about that will be coming in the next uh, uh, video. So this is all we wanted to accomplish at this point and we've done so. So hopefully you have come up with results uh, that match these and we'll be all good to go uh, with the next phase of the assignment. Okay, see you in the next video.